The New South Wales Rugby had a view that uh, women in this state weren't getting enough opportunities to play 15s and at a competitive level. So all power to them, they decided to have a female version of the NRC. And we've started with three teams this year and I hope it grows from there. Well, let me say that having been in Ireland and having had the opportunity to watch the Wallaroos, I was so excited for how well they did and how well they played. But it also was very clear that they need more opportunity to play. And they obviously they play in a Sydney competition, a lot of those girls, but there's got to be another step. So this women's NRC is that next step. Well, we've got three teams. We've got the Rays, the Rams and the Eagles. We've had one round already, which you missed at uh, TG Milner Field, but they're going to be playing on the 16th down at Pittwater and they're going to be playing, I think it's the 2nd of October, down in Goulburn. So we're spreading it around the state as well. It's absolutely my hope that this competition will grow and that we will have more women's teams in next year. But, you know, you've got to start off somewhere. So the three teams this year and my absolute gratitude to the teams that are involved and particularly, of course, the players that they have committed to being involved in this competition. Rugby is the fastest growing female sport in the world, so it is around the world. And I think there are two entry points. I certainly think sevens is an entry point for younger players. But the really interesting thing about watching some of those younger players is the number who are now keen to play 15s as well. So I'm hoping that's a growing trend. We had that wonderful women you know, day of girls and women's rugby the other week. And the number of women there, the number of girls there playing rugby was fantastic. So I think that this is, you know, we've always had strong people committed to women's rugby but they've struggled with getting that recognition and that support. I think that's now changing and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see a lot more women and girls playing. It's just really good opportunities now. Um, we don't have to go and look for competitions to play in or we don't have to travel far. So um, it's, you know, it's really good that it's building, building and building. And yeah, we've played club and then we had nationals and now we've gone to the World Cup and now we can come back and play more. And some people are like, aren't you crazy? You know, have a month off. But, um, there's no way you would with these opportunities coming up, so yeah, it's really good. Having played the first game, um, it, it went awesome and um, when we came off the field it was, it was a really good feeling. Um, it was great for all the girls to get together and play and we're just really grateful for the, for the opportunity and um, we're just hoping that we can go out there and, and you know, show some good footy in the other games and hopefully get an expanded chance to play a bit more next year. We have a few from Newcastle, so lots from the Hunter region. We have one from Ballina, Moree, down um, Tamworth, out in Cowra, those sorts of areas. So definitely girls come from everywhere to come and play footy, which is great. Knowing down in Wagga Wagga, when we go down to play a Southern States Conference, I know that there's four women's teams just in Wagga. So it's great to see um, lots of opportunity for the country girls to play, especially in the country champs, which um, Illawarra, which, who I play for, have an opportunity to go into. Definitely great numbers and great opportunity for the girls.